So you are South African, born in South Africa? I am, yep. I left it when I was 23. I went to England for nine, ten years as a school teacher. And, and you I, come full circle through England, through Canada, through the Centaur, and back, back to South Africa? Back home. Why? Well, I always knew that I'd be going home one day. I have four pillars to my house. One is the tradition of Eastern Europe, which my parents brought to South Africa and which I grew up in. And uh, that's a very sentimental and nice tradition which I attach myself to. The other one is the English tradition of literature and language, which I was schooled in and uh, learned to appreciate and value. And, uh, hated the English colonials that I grew up amongst in Durban, but loved the English I, that I found in England, a very different breed. And then Canada, where I spent more years than I had anywhere else, and which gave me this enormous opportunity to express myself in theatre, and uh, gave me an order of Canada too. Can I mention that? Absolutely. For a, for a little Jewish kid from Durban to be... <laughs> I remember when I got the notice that uh, I thought it was a traffic offence. I was called down to the local <laughs> post office to, and I opened this big envelope and I said, would I accept? Uh, and I rushed out onto the street and stopped the first person. And I said, look, look, look. <laughs> it was very, very flattering. And uh, I owe this country so much. It gave me all this. I, I was married here. I grew my family here. That's uh, Oh, sorry? That's three pillars, Eastern European. Oh, and South Africa. And, the, and your South African. And the South African is the biggest and the deepest rooted of them all. And so it's, it's, it's everything to me. Uh, and, uh, and, and now if I can make a contribution, if I can grow within South Africa as South Africa is growing. Somebody asked me what I was doing there, really. I said, I want to find out what it means to be a South African. Not a hyphenated South African, not a white South African, black South African. To be South African. Well, this is a journey without end, of, of course. But what a journey it is. What an experience. It's fantastic uh, to be there at the birth of a new country with all its anguish and pains and struggles and to be, to be starting to be growing something that you believe in. Ah, I mean, it's, 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 it's a heaven-sent opportunity. And you went back in 97. 97, so that was three, four years three. after, after the apartheid was over and yeah. the new yeah. government was I should have left earlier. I should have left the central five years previously. I'd already become a bit, a bit you know, exhausted, I think. <laughs> so this is interesting to me because you talk about being a South African and the endless journey of what it means to be a South African. Yeah. But in a way, you mirror what is... Uh, what it, what is, Can what is Canada, what is, Cana what is being Canadian becoming? The definition of what it means to Can be Canadian is no longer just restricted to soil or place. It's something that was implanted in people and it's gone out. I had a spirited debate yesterday with my cousin who is, lives in Toronto. Very wise man, I admire him greatly. And uh, on the way to his house from the train I got off at the central station, I got the metro up to the farthest point on the northern, uh, farthest stop. What is it? Uh, Downsview. Downsview. So on the, <coughs> and sitting on that compartment, I barely saw a conventionally white face. The whole compartment was full of ethnics, eth ethnics, huh? every sort, every part of the world. It was amazing to sit there and to see this. This is Toronto. This is Hogtown. This is where I, I used to visit from. Montreal and, and feel my blood congeal, you know. <laughs> I used to rush back to Montreal. And so I said to him, this is an amazing experience, just traveling here. He said, well, multiculturalism is not working. I said, what do you mean it's not working? He said, Trudeau is to blame. He instituted multiculturalism. I said, what, why is it not working? It's not working because these ethnicities are coming in so fast and growing so quickly that they don't know what the Canadianness means. So they've imported their conflicts from the countries of their origin, and they owe no obedience to Canada or uh, any residual sense of what Canada might be. Hmm, interesting thought. So I said, well, surely the problem is that 
the absorption has maybe been too fast for us to deal with, but the dream of multiculturalism is not necessarily therefore wrong. He said, well, I think it's gone past a point where one can redeem that, that notion of national identity, of Canadian identity. What is given to each arrived immigrant is a welcome and then a, a thought that they will recognize and live by the values of Canada. This, I think, is in the introductory uh, uh, meeting or the, when they actually get accepted. Uh, but maybe that vision is lost. Maybe nobody is articulating what it means to be a Canadian. So that these new immigrants who are pouring in now and, and living within their ghettos uh, to a large extent still are not able to access any larger notion of of Canada than who they are themselves. And so it is, it is creating conflicts. And so Canada is going to be challenged by this. Now, in South Africa, we have enormous ethnicities, which, interestingly enough, balance each other in size. The Zulu nation, the Tosa nation, the, the colored nation, the white nation, which itself is divided into Afrikaans and English, and these ethnicities, five or six of them, balance each other in size. And although the ANC dominates very heavily in terms of vote, in terms of population groups, we're actually, we, 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 we balance each other. Mm -hmm. Canada is not balancing. So I don't there's know. Resi there's remarkable and resilient statistics in terms of uh, people wanting certain values and people resisting an Americanization, not because we don't like Americans, but because there are certain uh, values about privatization, about health care, about, about violence, about confrontational social atmosphere, that people statistically in this country, so statistically means across every immigrant group, vote against. And in that is implied a cohesion, even though there seems to be these... Yeah, it's sort of a negative definition a of cohesion. who... It's sort of a negative definition of who you are. I mean... Well, the old definitions are based on flags and here are the Ten Commandments and what it means to be a Canadian. Okay. And we came from a cultural root or a racial root or a religious mm. root. But those are from another era. Okay. What I value in Canadianness is the respect of person, individual liberty. I, I, I admire the social democracy, which is established by people like Douglas in the prairies. We have a, a health system that is universal and an educational system that is commendable and et cetera, et cetera. So you can live in relative safety here and in comfort and assurance that your children will grow up and not be sent to fight some colonial war. These were the things that were enormously attractive to me when I arrived here, never thinking I'd ever end up in another dominion. I mean, I left South Africa, for heaven's sake. I went to Europe. I didn't want to go to Canada or to New Zealand or to Australia. But I found myself here and, and was delighted. Well, fortunately, I found myself in Montreal, which is the best part of Canada, in as much as you have European culture, North American plumbing working in harmony. It's a great combination. So uh, I was in the best possible place. Uh, so the question, Morris, now is, are you Canadian? I have a Canadian passport, and I... On the inside? No, I'm South African. You are South African. Deeply, deeply, I'm South African, but I acknowledge my Canadianness, and my children are all born here. So I have. What um, is your Canadianness? It means coming back to Montreal every year to see my family. It means watching this country, enjoying it, uh, seeing its international role, being interested in it. But it doesn't play a central role in my life anymore. South Africa does. The challenges in South Africa are so enormous so pressing and so daily that I, it's, it's a holiday coming to Canada, given even your problems, multiculturalism and what have so, you, given the South African conflicts, which are so, uh, so much stronger, so much more dangerous and so on. So we have bigger problems. Canada and South Africa, I do believe, could really make a, a good, uh, could be a good uh, bipartisan ar uh, arrangement. I think we, in terms of scale, in uh, terms of respecting regionalism, uh, in terms of having, uh, not, not being dominated by one economic center, 
even though Torontonians like to think they, there might be uh, regional pride and all that sort of thing, and, and, and having enormous talent in different areas of this country uh, artistically, uh, and the population size and everything. I think Canada and South Africa could really benefit from each other, and I know I wish we had a proper cultural agreement with Canada. We don't as yet have one. I wish we did, and I wish the Canadian External Affairs would recognize South Africa as a, as a, a value place of investment. They don't yet, it was, which is a tragedy because in the Trudeau years and the Pearson years, uh, they carried the anti-apartheid struggle forward, and the flag, Canadian flag, meant a great deal of value to South Africans. It was very uh, well, much valued, and, and it's being lost today.